And Rude Boy, this final video is for you. You need to stop what you're doing. You and I both know that you're only doing all this shit for the views and the clicks. Deep down, you know I'm not a bad person. You know I'm not evil. But let me ask you this. How many people have to suffer before you stop? How many people have to go through hell the same way I have because of you before you finally stop and realize that you're ruining lives? Or are you just one of those people that just does not fucking care? Because if you're one of those people that just doesn't care about human life, well, I feel bad for you. I feel sorry for you. I'm sorry that no one taught you the value of human life. I'm sorry that no one taught you how to be a good person. I'm sorry that you probably had a shitty childhood and that's why you are the way you are. I'm sorry, dude. But that's no reason to go and take it out on other people, man. I mean, you always sit there and you try to call me a pedophile, but yet... None of my actions match what you're saying. None of my actions match what you're saying. Because we all know how you like the deep fake shit, dude. And here's the thing. The cops aren't investigating me. You want to know how I know? If they were, they would have arrested me already, dude. That day that you sent the detectives out here... That day you sent them out here, they even said that I am being targeted by you. Even the detectives here in Ohio see what's going on, dude. And even they said that the cops are no longer investigating me. You remember when you sent those detectives out here to, by saying that, I supposedly had a 13 year old in my house, which I didn't. I did not have one in my house at all and I never would. Yeah, I sat down and I talked to that detective. Both him and his partner both said that I am being targeted. And that you guys do need to really stop. Y'all really do need to stop. And let's say, for example, let's say for example here that the police are investigating me. And they are looking into me. I've looked into this whole thing. In order for you to be able to even come close to having me arrested, I would have to physically show up there or they would have to catch me in the act of doing something illegal. None of which I have done. None of those things which I have done. I have not done anything illegal, dude. Therefore, they cannot put their hands on me. Period. But, well, let's say, for example, let's just say for the sake of argument, that they were investigating me, right? Go ahead and let them. Because I don't have anything to hide. I will gladly show them both of my computers and both of my hard drives for my old computer. Now I'm not giving one that I'm on right now, but my old one. I will gladly show them both hard drives for that old computer and show them everything that's on this one as well. And on my cell phone. I will gladly sit there with them for two or three hours and show them. That hey, I'm not doing anything wrong. I will gladly sit there and show them that shit. Why? Because I don't have anything to hide. I have nothing to hide, dude. I have nothing at all whatsoever to hide, man.
So you just need to give it up. And let's say for a prime example, let's just say for the sake of argument again. Okay, let's say for the sake of argument that this did all supposedly go to court. Let's say it supposedly did. Well, guess what, dude? I have more evidence against you than you do me. I have evidence showing that you attacked my family for no reason. I have evidence of you openly admitting to stealing my work and not caring. Uh, my whole family has evidence of you doing federal crimes or committing federal crimes by fucking with our mail by fucking with my food stamps and I also my mom also has proof of you harassing her phone relentlessly via telecommunications and I also have I have undeniable evidence of you impersonating a Akron Ohio political figure and then using that political figure to make death threats towards me and my family to see what you don't realize Edward boy is by you doing the deep fake shit that you do by you doing that deep fake shit That's evidence against you. Not for you, but against you. See, the shit I do when it comes to voice changers, I do that shit for entertainment. I do it to have fun. I do it to entertain people. I do it to create content. But you, you use it for evil. You use it to ruin lives. And that's not okay. So like I said, inward boy, you need to stop, dude. Let it go and walk away, man. Just let it go and walk away, dude. Like I said, you want me off YouTube for several for several years? I'm okay with that. I have no problem with that. I have zero issue with not being on there. But I can tell you right now, I will not leave Facebook. Because that's where my friends are at. That's where I hang out. That's where I spend time at. And I will not leave that. So, Edward Boy... Do yourself a favor, man. Unless you want this shit to be a long, drawn-out, drug-out process that's going to end up in you failing in court and you being countersued for everything you've done to me, I suggest you stop, dude. Because you're going out to the wrong motherfucker, man. In this instance, man, you're going out to the wrong fucking dude. I'm not the one to fuck with, man. You don't seem to understand that I have more evidence on you than you do against me, man. Yeah, sure, you might have me doing a couple things that maybe aren't the brightest moves. But I also have backup plans for those, too. I have evidence to go against those as well. So, Edward Boy, I'm asking you nicely to stop. Stop trying to come after me. Stop trying to attack my friends and my family. And stop trying to come after my ways of making money, dude. Because everyone deserves to make a living. And did you see a witch? Did you know that by keeping me from making money work-wise, did you know that you are technically breaking the Constitution? The pursuit of life 
liberty, and happiness. And guess what? You need money in order to live. Hence, life. Making a living. Having a job. That literally is in the Constitution. The pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. It's right there in the Constitution, dude. So technically, you are breaking the Constitution by doing what you're doing. By all technical standards. And we all know why you don't want me to work. We all know why. It's because you don't want me to get a lawyer and start fighting back. That's all it is. That's why you don't want me fighting back. Because you know that if I get a lawyer and I show my lawyer everything that you've done, you're fucked. You won't be able to survive. You would be fucked. And you know it. That's why you don't want me making money because you don't want me to fight back. Well, I'm starting to tell you, I know, boy, that's not how this is going to play out. Eventually, I will make money and I am going to start fighting back. At some point. So I remember, boy, like I said, human life ain't worth it, dude. Trying to have someone killed by any means necessary, it's not worth it, dude. I mean, to you it might be, but to the rest of the world, it's not, man. So, save yourself the trouble. Save yourself the trouble and leave me and other people alone, man. Like, go outside, touch grass, do something. If you got kids, play with your kids. Be a father, be a husband to your wife if you have a wife. Or if you got a or if you have a husband, be a husband to your husband. Because I say that because I don't know if you're gay or not. So just saying. But like I said, man. Actually do something with your life. Other than sit here and fuck with me all day, man. I'm tired of it. And the rest of the world's tired of it too. There's a lot of people that do not agree with what you're doing. And a lot of people do agree that you need to stop. Which you do, man. So unless you want this to end ugly for you, man, because I can tell you right now, if you do not stop and you continue down this route, it's not going to end well for you, man. It's going to end up with you getting into serious fucking legal trouble and you're going to be in that shit for a long time. So save yourself the trouble, dude. Just walk away. That's what I'm doing. I'm walking away for several months. If not several years. But like I said, everyone, boy. Save yourself the trouble, man. And just walk away, dude. Just walk away and stop trying to come after me. You leave me alone, I leave you alone. You see how that works? It's a two-way street, man. If you leave me alone and you stop coming after me, then I'll stop calling you out and I'll stop coming out stop coming out for you. But if you don't stop, then well I'll just gather up my evidence that I have against you and I'll see you in court. I mean take your pick, man. It's your call.